Hey guys, Zach Calhoun here from cloudpayo.com. Hope you're having a great day. We have a brand new navigation feature. And essentially we decided to revamp and redo how it works to make it much easier on you. And hopefully um, a better experience for all the new users coming into cloudpayo.com. So if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering what's navigation, what's it matter? I'm going to run through it all today and show you how we updated how we now do our North Point and how that's going to look so that you have a natural view of where you are, where you're going. OK, so in this in, the, in this example tour, we have this house right here and I have opened the cloud panel editor. So app.cloudpanel.com forward slash tours forward slash tour ID forward slash edit. All that means is when you're on your dashboard, you click edit and it takes you inside to edit your tour. Now, if you haven't already, you're, you're going to want to upload all your 360 photos. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and turn off that noise because um, I actually don't like when it makes little noises like that. So, okay, there we go. Okay, so to make a virtual tour simple, you upload your 360 virtual photos of, of the space. And over here, and they'll, they'll appear over here on the left sidebar. So we have the front entry, we have the bedroom office, we have the main living area. I'm just kind of clicking through and showing you what it looks like. Um, and you can connect these rooms or add embedded hotspots or information, whatever you want as well. Um, and I'm going to show you what a typical uh, linking of a hotspot um, looks like. So we now have these nice little changes also too in our um, notifications and how stuff looks. So that's a little uh, design update. When you click here, um, when adding a hotspot, you have the option of a floor hotspot or one of these pre-built um, options. And of course, you can open your library and customize and add all types of different um, icons as well. But I'm going to show you what it looks like to add a hotspot. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like to create a smooth navigation for that specific hotspot. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen right now. Um, or I'm actually, I think my current location is the main, main living area is what it's called. And I'm going to link this over to my front entry. I'm going to click Save Hotspot, and now it's done. So you see here it says Hotspot successfully added. We updated how these little notifications look, and they look beautiful. Okay, now if you look here to the top right. This is where our new feature comes in. You can see here where it says we have this little compass. Well, our compass, um, when you click on it, it says click to reset North Point. And then you have this right here, Default Initial View. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume that in this specific house, okay, when you walk in the house, the back door is north. Now, does the back door or does when you set North Point have to actually be north on the compass in real life? No. What you want is just every photo to know where what direction it's facing and once you do that cloud panels going to be able to use that in a big way to help navigate the tour so i'm gonna click click to set north point when that happens you'll see that it says north point has been set and you can even click this nice little url to get more information about what north points are but basically it's an internal compass and you'll be able to read through this on your own so you may not even have to watch this video but now you see when I turn, it's actually showing me in the compass top right where I'm looking. Okay, so north is set for right here. As I turn to the right, I'm looking more east or I'm looking more west. I think you get the picture when it comes to the compass. Now, if you see here, there's this little dot next to it. It says default initial view. Now, what that means is when somebody clicks on this specific image and you click set initial view, what happens is, as you see, I just moved it. This is the this is the direction they're going to see every time they click on this specific image um, or the hotspot that goes to that image. Okay, so you click, and that's just you know the basics of navigation. Where do you want them to look or see whenever they get to that room? Right. Well, in this case, I want them to see the kitchen. Now, you can get more advanced here, and you can click this little. Um, three dot option and you can also set initial view coming from a specific scene so for whatever reason if you want to hide something or have something look a certain you, you don't want somebody to look at a certain thing you can um navigate that or change that so i'm going to actually now so so you see here there's, there's only two links 
to this specific hotspot. So let's say um, I am coming from the Bettermore office. I want it to, to look this direction. Um, now, I actually kind of have the same ones facing the same direction. So if I'm coming from Bedroom Office, I'm going to have it face this way. So I'm going to click double, click those three dots, and I'm going to have it click right here. Okay, so now I have two initial views on this compass. So I have as my default initial view, and I have initial view coming from the Bedroom slash Office. And look, when I hover over this, it tells me what those initial views are. And so I have now three views attached to this image. I have, I have my north point, I have my default initial view, and I even have a coming from a specific bedroom view, which is this one. Now you can see it turning here, and it kind of gives me all this information intuitively right here in the top right, por top right portion of the compass. It's actually really smooth, really beautiful. Okay, so how does this play out when we are viewing the tour. Well, let's check it out. I'll click publish. That was our main living area. Now note that. Okay. So that's this third image here. So I click into the um, specific hotspot. I'm looking this direction. I have the option of clicking other ones. In this case, I clicked right here, which was, that was linked to the main living area. So to, just to keep it simple, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to click to the kitchen. Okay. Now, now I'm at that kitchen photo and look down here, bottom left, it says main living area. So if I click on this thumbnail, I'm looking towards the kitchen. That's my main living area, or that's my default initial view. Now, if I am coming from the bedroom office, so I'm going to go there, and I'm going to click the hotspot, which is linked there. You can see I'm now, I'm facing towards the living room couch, because a moment ago, I set that initial view facing the main living area area couch from that specific scene. So let's re let's real fast review that. So front entry, if I click on the kitchen, I'm in the kitchen. Now I have a link to, I have no real link to the main living area. So what's my, if I click on that thumbnail to that main living area, what, what happens? My default initial view is looking this way because I set that. Now, if I jump over to my bedroom office area and I click on the hotspot that's right here, because I'm coming from that specific scene and I set this direction, it's looking towards the couch. So really simple. I mean, that's, that's the basics of navigation. You can set it however you want to. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to start moving a little bit faster and showing you some advanced movement options. And basically it's called natural movement and we even have a hybrid mode as well. Um, that we're going to be showing off but that previously was called hybrid mode. Now it's called something else, but I want you to follow along as I go fast here and show you what it looks like to navigate in a natural movement, um, tour. Okay. So when I click edit tour, my compass appears on the top, right? And I can set my North point. Okay. So let's say I just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to show you here that, that, that this is my, my first photo. Let's go to my front entry. I have my north point still facing the back door here. I have my kitchen still facing the back door here. Okay. Now, what you saw there was that all of these north points are facing the back door. So when I, so as I'm facing a certain direction, the compass is aware of those of, of that specific um, location. So let's say hypothetically this kitchen north point was this way. Okay, I'm going to set it here and it's basically functionally wrong right now. Okay, so I'm going to go to, to, to right here. I'm going to show you when I click go to kitchen, it's facing this way now. Now, if I set my north point back like this and I go back to my main living, oh, I'm sorry, front entry and I actually, I can even face a little bit to the right and click the kitchen. I'm still facing a little bit to the right because my north point is set correctly. So ba so basically where I'm facing my natural you know where I'm where I'm looking, I will be able to um know that and feel that in the space. So this is going to make a lot more sense when I click on the mudroom here in a second. But first, I want to show you something. 
if a default view is, is here, that will override your natural movement by default. Okay. So, um, right here, you see, I have initial view saved. So to, to remove that, I see to click delete. Okay. So now it's gone. Now I'm going to go back to the previous scene. Oops. I clicked the back arrow. I don't need to, <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let's go back to my kitchen. Okay. Oops. I'm jumping around too fast. Okay. Now, now I have, I've deleted my default initial view. I'm going to click go to scene and I'm going to reset my North point to here. So I'm going to go back to the kitchen where I was. Navigate here. And you can see I'm actually facing the same direction because here is the closet and there's the kitchen I was looking at before. So if you, in certain cases, you want to be facing the same direction because it just makes it look more smooth. So I showed you, I showed you this a moment ago. If you're at the front door and you select um, go, let's see, for example, the kitchen. Say I say I want to go to that spot. I'm looking right there. So a moment ago, I was at the front door and that, that table is back here and I click the hot spot in the navigation and it goes here. So what natural navigation does or setting, setting, up your, your north, 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 setting up your north points correctly, it gives us the feel that we are in the space, okay? So I feel like I kind of know where I'm at, if that makes sense. If I click a thumbnail here, whatever place I'm, whatever direction I'm facing is what I'm gonna be facing at this next thumbnail, unless I have um, spe specifically set a default initial view. So in this case, kitchen, I'm facing the same direction. Okay, so so essentially what you need to think about is like, it's like this. The compass is always working and keeping track of where you're looking at all times, unless you override it with the default initial view. Okay, so I deleted some, some initial views to show you, and then now I can add some back in. Let's say hypothetically, let's go back to our um, kitchen example. Okay, so for the kitchen photo, let's say I'm facing this back door right here. If I click set initial view, every time I hit this photo, this is where I'm going to be looking. Unless I want to say from a specific scene, I can do that as well too, but. Basically, every time I see it, I'm going to face that, that direction now. So if I go back to my tour, I go back to my house. So th this one has North Point set correctly. Now I go to my kitchen. Look, boom, I'm looking to the right. It's because I, I have overridden that natural movement. Okay. So essentially, when you go through your tour, you just set all your North Points really quickly. When you do that, then you can then, then you can add your hotspots and you'll have natural movement navigation throughout your whole entire space every time and it feels like you're there. It's a really beautiful, clean experience. So in and of course to adjust this, all you have to do is set your set your north points by clicking the compass, which is up here in your top right. So you want to make sure they're always facing always always facing the same direction. Um, and then you can always override them as well as needed. Okay, which can be through setting um, default views or you can go into settings here, navigation, and you can selectively enforce initial views. So basically you can read through this, but it says if a scene has initial view, we will not use it when navigating the tour via hotspots. So um, initial views will only be used when arriving at the scene from a thumbnail image or directly to the scene via a URL. So this is pre previously called hybrid mode. Okay, so what this means is we will not use if if the scene has has an initial view, we will not use it when navigating the tour via, via, via hotspot. So it's everything's natural movement via hotspots, but if you visit it any other way, it's going to be using the, the the initial views that you have set. Okay, which is pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. A lot of folks use that. Okay, so it's called fine two navigation behavior, selectively enforced initial views, basically what it's called now. In the past, it was called hybrid mode. Okay, so what, what you're looking at right here is basically a natural movement navigation, which you can override via initial views. And you can also override it selectively via um, by just using your thumbnail, thumbnail net navigation or from a URL directly as well. Okay, and of course, you can 
um, select your transition types as well and do a lot of different stuff uh, that you can click through, read through and try out as well. So hopefully that is clear and simple. Um, I showed you what it looks like to set a North Point, which is, it looks just like this. It's by clicking that and it saves it. I told you what it's like to select a initial view, just click right here and it adds it to the compass. I can even, and you can even change it here. You can drag it as well, which is kind of cool. Okay, so you want to see what it looks like. Um, so, so that's how you change your initial views and you can add multiple initial views from, from um, multiple scenes. And you can even have, um, you know, natural, natural movement be at just hotspots and not have it, not, not have natural movement, quote unquote, via thumbnails or direct URL visiting by clicking this box right here in your settings. So hopefully that is clear as day, not clear as mud. If you have any questions, let us know. But essentially, we've told the revamp update how we do this in the North Point settings. Um, let us know if you have any questions. Play with it, test it out. And of course, happy tour building. Excited to see you there.